Hello everyone, it's Lola here again. I welcome you all to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my own version of a furry roll. For those who don't know, a furry roll simply means stewed spinach. But today I'm going to be using fish and some shrimps. So let's get started. I've got my onion powder, paprika, black pepper, a little bit of seasoning powder and salt to taste. I'm just going to be adding all this seasoning inside my already cleaned fish and I'm just going to use my hands to massage the seasoning all over the fish. You want every bit of the fish to be well covered with the seasoning. So once that is done, I'm just going to cover up the fish and I'll be setting it aside to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. A little longer is fine, but it's better not to go lower than about 10 minutes or thereabouts. So while the fish is absorbing all those beautiful flavors, I'm going to be blending my peppers. I've got three red peppers together with two scotch bonnets and one onion. If you feel the heat is going to be too much using two scotch bonnets, feel free to just use one, it's all well and good. So now I'm done processing the peppers and the onion, I'm just going to be pouring this inside a bowl and I'll be setting that aside. Moving on, I'm going to be preheating some oil and this is going to be used to fry my fish. I'm going to be adding some onions and this onion is going to do two things for me. Number one, it's going to reduce the smoke in the oil and number two, it's going to infuse more flavor inside the oil. So that being said, the oil is now hot and the fish is ready to go right inside the oil. As you can see, it's now browned on the first side and right now I'm just flipping it over to the other side so I can also give the other side a little bit of color. So the fish is well browned, I'll just be removing them from the oil and I'll be setting them aside. And as for this oil I used in frying the fish, I'll just be pouring it inside a bowl and this is going to be used to make my other soups and stews. So in the same pan used for frying my fish, I'm going to be adding some palm oil. I really don't like blanching my palm oil. So once the oil is melted, I'm going to be throwing in some chopped onions and I'm going to cook these onions inside the oil while the oil is still getting heated up. So now the onions are well browned as you can see and at this point I'm going to be stirring in my blended peppers. So just cover this up and leave it to cook until the pepper is well reduced and this is going to take about 15 minutes, a little more or less. So now my sauce is well reduced. At this point, I'm going to be adding my low-cost bean, crayfish, about two teaspoons of seasoning powder and some salt to taste. As you can see, I used low-cost bean in this recipe. It gives this stew a deeper depth of flavor. It's very good to use it. However, if you don't have it, you can totally skip it. Next, I'm going to be adding my dry fish and as some of you know, I now make my dry fish. If you want to see how I make it, I'll also leave a link to that in the description box below. And by the way, this fish has already been cleaned, just in case you might want to ask. And to that, I'm also going to be adding my fried mackerel fish. I'll just tear this together a little bit because you don't want the fish to be broken inside the stew. Cover this up at this point and I'll leave the fish to cook so it can absorb all that beautiful flavor from the stew. This 
this has been cooking for about five minutes now and at this point i'll be removing my fish then i'm going to be adding my shrimps and i'll be leaving the shrimps to cook for about four minutes or thereabouts okay now it's now time to stir in our spinach and this spinach has already been blanched and drained and blanching is just a process in which you put the spinach inside a hot boiling water just to wilt it a little bit so all you have to do at this point is just to stir in the spinach until everything is beautifully coated with the sauce if you feel the stew is too dry feel free to add a splash of water to loosen it a little bit so there we go guys this is smelling really good at this point but finally before we leave we are going to be adding our fish so at this point i'm just going to leave the spinach to cook for about three to five minutes a little more or less but you don't want to cook it any longer because the longer you cook it the more the spinach loses its vibrant color and you know you don't want that to happen and that is it guys as you can see this turned out beautifully well and this is my version of a furry roux using mackerel fish and of course shrimps and as usual all the links to the details of this recipe can be found in the description box below until next time i'll talk to you shortly enjoy